What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you here. It's been a couple minutes since we've done a YouTube video, but we are throwing a ton of pots. We got a lot of going on in the studio and I have an exciting video for you guys. I, we weren't talking about why I stand versus sit. So if you've watched other people throw pots, if you've done pottery, right? You probably started by sitting and throwing and not standing. And if you've watched me, I stand and throw everything. And so my wheel at Mocha Monkey, my old studio. So if you remember back, way back, uh, I used to, st I started the YouTube channel in this basement of this coffee shop, which is kind of hard to believe that I worked out of the studio for so long. But here is the little setup. So you can see that we made this. It's got a shelf here, shelf down there shelf there, shelf down there, and then the wheel just sits right in the center so that I can just stand and throw. And it worked really well for a while, but when we moved to the new studio, I didn't want something that took up so much space. The wheel that I have now has those leg extensions on it and you don't have to build anything. So this wheel, you know, if you didn't have these extensions on it, then it would just sit right there. And so this actually has extensions from Scut that allows you to stand. And so there's a couple reasons. So I'm gonna get on the wheel and I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking about this, but really the big two reasons why I stand and throw is A, it's better for the body. It puts you in a better position than being like hunched over all the time. So you get to like stand. Um, and the second re reason is for the mobility aspect. And so when you're done, if you wanna grab a tool, if you wanna set a pot over here, you're not like getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down. So those are the two big reasons. The, a couple reasons why I think people don't like standing and throwing is a lot of people will sit and like brace their elbow on their knee when there's, and so if they're like have a hard time centering, you can kind of use that. And I, I'll get on the wheel and show you, I don't really have issues with that. I've never had issues and I, I've centered five, 10 pounds of clay standing and I don't have issues with like bracing or anything. You know, it can get tiring standing for long periods of time, but in all honesty, I really, I actually really love the standing and throwing. So we've thrown all these, we've thrown 20 some today, you know, yesterday underneath here, got a bunch, bunch of new Minnesota mugs for Mocha Monkey. Um, we are getting into production for the summer. So, all right, let's hop on the wheel. Right now, you know, I'm standing straight up. I have my foot pedal down here. Probably can't even see it right there. Right at waist height. You can see I have little two by fours right under to raise it up just that slight bit. So the splash pad's at 40 inches, which means the wheel's probably like 38 or 39 inches. So whatever feels comfortable for you, it's nice, you know, like I don't have to make sure that I have everything right in my area because I'm not getting, I don't have to get up and get sit down. See how easy it is for me to move over here. I got my balls of clay over here. Use the foot pedal. There's like a little bit of bend, but I still have a pretty straight back, my posture. Boom. So then I'm done, right? So then I can just easily move that way, get up, not have to like, you know, get up, sit down. That's the whole point of that. I just, there's another reason why it's hard to have a standing wheel. So Matthew Kelly in North Carolina, where I just was, he has a wheel that you stand at and then he also has a wheel that you sit at because he makes some big stuff. So if you're making bigger stuff, you know, like this was two different pieces, right? So I threw it and then it was even bigger when I was making it. So say you need to get your arm all the way down in here to blend this or to like throw it together, right? To put something here to stand on so that I could like get my one arm like all the way down there and then I could like throw it together because you want your, this arm to be able to be kind of straight and you can't do that if you are down here. You can't like get that angle that you need to get one arm in. So that's one reason why it would be nice to have a sitting one is to make bigger stuff. But if you're okay like just standing on something, it was kind of fun. It felt cool to like make something so big. That's like the tallest thing. This is about as tall as I can make it before it won't fit in my kiln anymore.
So I actually started sitting, right? Like everybody does. All the wheels that you have in high school and college, they're all on the ground so you can sit around them. And then after I'd thrown for a few years, a friend of mine who was a potter, he went to Seagrove, North Carolina, and he came back and he said, you know, a bunch of the potters like throw standing up. And I said, that's interesting. And he said, yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. And he came back and said like, I love standing up so much. He's like, you should really try it. And I said, sure, I'll try it. And I've never gone back. So he actually helped me build the little contraption that I had. Uh, and it's still sitting at Mocha Monkey right now. And so he helped me build that. And then I love standing ever since. Also, thank you guys all so much for anyone that ordered pots in the last restock. I am so thankful for all you guys that uh, keep buying pots from us. It's so awesome. It keeps me so motivated. And like, I got to make videos for everybody that's buying pots. So thank you guys. Our next restocks, we'll have one in June, one in July, one in August, and those dates are coming out very soon. So stay tuned. <laughs>